you're watching my lifestyle channel welcome back to Rebecca's lifestyle today I'm going to be doing the latest travel news worldwide part one video this week so before we get into it I would just like to say if you haven't subscribed to, to you for my travel or lifestyle channel if you press the red and white subscribe button it is free and i upload at least three times a week and also up to five times a week and um basically with my travel channel it's all about travel and distant aspects and my lifestyle channel is about different aspects of my life um what i like to do and things like that so um if you also click the notification bell it'll notify you every time i upload a video so let's jump right into it now according to breakingtravelnews.com the eight fabulous new facts um in regards to travel are at number one Heathrow launches a COVID-19 quick testing trials that's really good because again they can they can basically then find out uh, whether you're clear of covid or or not like and the findings from the trial are being evaluated and will be shared with the government as ministers consider how testing could provide a safe alternative to quarantine in certain circumstances so yay i really hope um again that goes ahead and that people um don't have to quarantine um if coming from an unsafe country that is so um i think it's really good news and especially if the government do decide to apply it i think it'll be great for easing the situation now number two silver moon sea uh, cruises um completes sea trials ahead of october this year delivery carrying a reduced crew due to precautionary health protocols the new silver sea vessel journeyed between uh, vacation res shipyard in ancona and tresti italy excuse my pronunciation so again if the crews again can re uh, go ahead on reduced st uh, staff then it'll still be something and if you are in italy then and want to do a cruise then you'll be able to do it um hopefully safely fingers crossed now unfortunately norwegian airlines continues to bat it battle covid19 uh, fallout with the covid19 pandemic taking a huge tail on the airline passenger numbers have fell unfortunately seven per 71 percent to 5.3 million during the first six months of the year um, again it's not good news for norwegian airlines but hopefully um the second half of the year hopefully the passengers will pick up so uh, fingers crossed it does 
and um, hopefully that uh, again they'll be able to um, employ more staff uh, once the passengers numbers go up and um, number four uh, the CVI group snaps up cruise and marine time voyages assets the investors in CVI group have purchased elements of the company including customer database websites intellectual property according to administrators stuff and pre-helps so uh, again really good news so, uh, so hopefully uh, CVI will be able to um, keep existing customers on board and attract new customers and obviously uh, get new, uh, new jobs as well going so uh, fingers crossed for that um, and I hope they do well and number five um the government adds new tourism hotspots to the quarantine list unfortunately people arriving from england from switzerland the czech republic and jamaica from uh, tomorrow um or last saturday uh, will be expected to uh, quarantine after the countries became the latest to be removed from the safe list the trio join france and spain at the moment so um hopefully um they'll go uh, to low covid risk or cover covid 19 free zoom um soon as possible just say so people can uh, go to these countries um i know uh, they are again uh, fa favorites especially spain um with uh, lots of tourists but um also like british tourists um and france is popular as well um but um it is what it is um and um also jamaica czech republic and switzerland are obviously popular as well with uk travelers so it is really disappointing and really hope all of those countries um go into the safe zone as soon as possible again now number six international sos releases a new covid19 risk map this is again really good news because if you're looking to travel um out of the uk and um, then international seo s.com and um, you can go onto that website and upload a map and it shows you from where a very high risk is um to where a very low risk is so um the risks go very high high medium low and very low and uh, you can just see the colors um basically um and the map has a key so it shows you what uh, what is what and um what if you did want to travel outside the uk what countries are a great place to go that you won't need to quarantine and number seven eastside airways updates its mobile app that's really good so customers obviously 
can obviously get updated times and on their mobile on the mobile app so really good and again it's really good um for uh, customers to know in advance um so really good news well done to ethad airways for that and number eight london south end airport trials a new baggage scanning technology system so i really hope um that goes as well as possible and um again the new technology it will be faster and um, so people don't have to wait so long to get their baggage checked in or etc so thank you for watching please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so i love speaking about travel and uh, lifestyle and i'll see you in my next video which is going to be tomorrow 6 p.m and it's going to be the latest travel news worldwide part two so and also this week i'm uploading a, a free new newsletter and um, that you can download which is september 2020 it'll just have advice about travel so thank you for watching i love you all viewers and subscribers you all mean the world to me and bye for now thank you bye